get a big, nice dressy shoe, but instead you ended up with this little thing, I'm gonna show you how to make this thing fit your foot with the top 20 tips. And yes, I am joking, but I'll see what I can do and these tips really do work. Let us know what types of foot problems you have that stop you from wearing your shoes and why do you have small shoes? Is it a nice dressy shoe with a pointy front that's the problem? I always find it's these pointy front shoes that do you in. So let us know in the comments, we wanna know. So the tough part with small shoes like this is you're gonna get bunions, you're gonna get heel pain, you're gonna get blisters, you're gonna get hammer toes, you're gonna get a ton of issues. This is a shoe stretching device. So essentially this is like $15 online and the show notes are down below. So if you want these, check it out. But look, I set up a couple pegs and one's for the bunion, Taylor's bunion, fifth toe and big toe. So you can see right here, they correlate and essentially that twisting metal rod makes them stretch out and essentially the heel stretches out the heel area so you could see right there the bumps correlate to prominent blister areas on your foot so in this case if you're going to blister in the fifth toe the little toe you have a bunion or a tailor's bunion just get this guy stick it in here and you leave it on for 24 hours overnight and see this uh, back part that i'm twisting right here that's for the heel so in the front the metal rod basically expands that. So see that's expanding and you leave that for 24 hours overnight and that will stretch out your tailor's bunion. So the tailor's bunion is the little toe and the bunion is the big toe or the side of the foot if you're getting problems there. And that back part, look at that. I'm stretching that out. That's stretching out the heel area. So if you're getting heel blisters or back of the heel blisters, especially in your high heeled shoes, that can stretch that area out, take a little bit of pressure off there. Or if the tongue is pressing too tightly on the top, stick that tongue part on there and that will get pressure off the top of the foot. And then as that's sitting overnight for like five to $10 shoe stretch spray, just take that and you spray that area. Essentially it moistens it a little bit and then it kind of stiffens up in that position so it stays stretched out so that spray is a great idea i use that quite a bit you know personally i always go with good podiatrist recommended shoes but if you wear the fancy high heel shoes or ones that are tight in the front the shoe stretch spray can be great so spray it overnight it can't go up five shoe sizes if you have a tiny shoe but it can go up for example one to two shoe sizes, it can spread out the front, it can spread out the heel. So that's a shoe stretcher. That thing for two of them, it's like 15 bucks. But what a shoe stretcher does is it has adjustable parts. So a bunion, hammer toes, the heel region, it can stretch out nice expensive dress shoes or dressy shoes like this. So you put a little bit of moisture, a little bit of oil and you let it sit for 24 hours overnight. I'm gonna show you a better way. Grab some of this, run it under some water. Just get it a little bit damp and stuff it into the shoe. Stuff it so it really expands the front of the shoe. So what you wanna do is pretend that this is a little bit damp, squeeze all the water out of it, and you just stuff it, especially in the front. See how the front's squeezing up right now? You take a little bit more now and you stuff a little bit more in there, just like this. And look at how much the shoe's expanding in the front. If you keep stuffing it hard in there, you can see the shoe, if you leave that overnight, it's gonna stretch that material like five or 10%. You can even do that along the heel. So that's why shoes at the store usually have this stu kind of stuff stuffed in there. So the shoe matches up well. So my one of my favorite ways is to moisten some newspaper that you get so the junk mail is useful for something and just stuff it in your shoe, leave it overnight, leave it for two nights. Another thing you can do is a hair dryer. Take a hair dryer and just wipe it along the back of the shoe or the front or the heels and now put your foot in there. Walk around for five to 10 minutes and your shoe, because it's now hot and warm, will expand a little bit. Don't ruin, again, don't do this with like $100 plus shoes where you could ruin the material. Be safe, but it does work for both shoes. 
not all shoes are made the same. So keep that in mind. Always go up half a shoe size to a full shoe size. Easier to get something like an orthotic for almost nothing or to stuff something in your shoe to take up more room. So number one for high heels and stuff, get some moisturizer. It doesn't have to be Vaseline, but most people have Vaseline available at home. Just take some, rub some on your heel, blister spots. You're not gonna get as much rubbing. So that will let you squeeze into these fancy boots or cowboy boots. The next thing you can do is grab some deodorant. Rub some deodorant on the back of your heel right here. You'll slide in easier, there's less rubbing. You could do that for your bunions, for your hammer toes, if they're rubbing and you're not wearing socks. But the next thing is, get some thinner socks. So you have thin socks like this, so aerated, nice socks, and then you have thicker socks. Don't go with the thick socks. Get kind of those little socks that have almost no thickness to them. Get like a compression sock, or a compression running sock. Those are available in our links below. So there's some great socks and great shoes. So we give you our top 2020 list down in the notes for best socks, best shoes, go check those out. Another thing, instead of wearing socks, you can put this on your heel. It will stop your heel from rubbing and it'll stop your Achilles tendon from rubbing. If you have heel problems because your shoe's too tight, a little gel pad like this, again, down in our show notes. If you don't wanna risk it with your shoe, just wear it for a little bit. You don't have to wear it for a work shift your first day. Wear it around the house for half an hour. Make sure you're not getting any blisters. If you wear it half an hour here and there, the shoe will expand and will feel better. Another tip is you can grab ice and put it in a Ziploc bag and stuff it in just like the newspaper, but I don't recommend that. The idea is the condensation kind of moistens up the material and makes it expand. But again, just get some wet newspaper, but lightly wet, damp, not even wet, just damp. If you have top of the foot that's too tight, skip the laces. So you don't have to fill in every lace. If your laces don't connect, just skip the lace holes or even just lace up the front. So just lacing up the front is all you need to do in some cases. It's an easy fix. Sometimes putting just a heel lift into the heel changes the angle of your foot so you fit better. Elastic laces, like lock laces, these are great because they make them more elastic and your foot can expand more. This is for people that have top of the foot tightness. People do not fit their shoe properly. So I know this is kind of a cheater point, but fit your shoe properly. We make a great guide. The number one reason people don't fit their shoe properly is they fit it when their foot's not swollen and then their foot gets swollen. Make sure you fit at the end of the day because your foot can go up half a size to a full size when you're standing. And especially if you're ordering shoes online, make sure your foot's more swollen, not first thing in the morning. Number two, you want to fit the bigger foot. Sometimes your left foot's bigger than your right foot. That's normal. Always fit the bigger shoe and you can fill in the smaller shoe later. It's better to have a slightly bigger shoe than too small of a shoe. If these tips help, let us know which one helped the most. We love hearing your opinion. Let us know. We're here for you guys. Let us know which videos you want made and we're gonna help you out.